The Making of Star Trek. Stephen Whitfield was named really Poe. Stephen Poe, I think. Gene Roddenberry. Published, and I read it. First edition, September 1968. This is a later edition. Probably 10th. But uh, as far as I know, it's only available in paperback. Now, all of my copies, I think, covers came off. The cover came off of this when I picked it up to make this video. They're old. So uh, what had happened, he was working. They made uh, models, you know. I was uh, a young man and made, you know, put together models. Batman, Superman, the Hulk, Spider-Man, Thor, and Star Trek. It was the Enterprise. Well, I um, was, uh, I remember it <laughs> unbelievably, ridiculously well. My little sister was ill, a lung infection, pneumonia. I went to a pharmacy in the Indian Hills Shopping Center in Wichita, Kansas, and they had a spinner rack. So while we're waiting for them to get the antibiotic for my sister, I pick this, I see this, pick it up, and I want my mom to buy it for me. Of course, it's ridiculously expensive. It is 95 cents, and my mom won't buy it for me. And I don't have 95 cents with me. I had brought, I think, a quarter. thought I might buy a couple comic books. They were 12 cents, so I could buy two, but no, I was going to buy this. So I had to come back later. And I, it was something like 10 days before I could get back there. And I thought, well, it's probably gone. Somebody grabbed that up. Nope, still there. And I bought it. But that one has totally fallen apart. I held it together with rubber bands for years. So, this, uh, uh, based on the Star Trek guide and interviews, Now, here's a, uh, an example shooting schedule for the second pilot. First was the cage, second was where no man has gone before. So, uh, tells like the principals, principal actors, the extras, who they need, what's happening, and. Uh, Somewhere in here. I had it marked. Now I don't remember. Oh, there it is. Um, April 14, 1966. Producer to Rodberry, showrunner. Subject, Captain Gilman. At that time, it was Grace Lee Whitney. They started, uh, or about to start filming. While trying to work out additional duties for the Captain Gilman to fill her role out a bit, plus give her some landing party duties when we need her on a planet, has suggested that she carry as part of her regular equipment, and she's got some pretty good equipment already. That was normal talk for 1966, even among producers, executives. Some sort of neat over-the-shoulder equipment, a recorder, electronic camera. She can take entries from the captain, make electronic moving photos of things, places. They haven't given much creative thought to what this would look like, but it seems like it's a potential toy item. Any comments? Um... The device was invented, was now known as the tricorder. And it's now in the whole whole series to this day. 
when they make a uh, Star Trek episode use the tricorder. This is a very interesting book, as far as I know, can only, it's still only in paperback. And, uh, not a bad book at all. Uh, it tells a story of the publicist who got permission to write this book. But he was publicizing, uh, taking glue and making a model of the Enterprise. These are all good episodes. Mirror, mirror. Trouble, tribbles. Cage. I bet a lot of Quatlers, you'd like this book if you're a Star Trek fan. <laughs> 